What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. Reachability is one of the flagship features for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus because it allows you to access elements that are at the top of the screen that you normally wouldn't be able to reach by using a double tap on the Touch ID sensor. So that makes it easier to reach icons and app elements that are at the top because the device is so long, it's hard to reach those without actually shimming your, your hand up to the top of the device like that. It's kind of annoying. Uh, so that's where reachability comes in. So I could launch an app like TweetBot, double tap the home button, and then I can access elements that are near the top of the screen like that. But there is a new jailbreak tweak that just came out called My Reachability. And this, folks, is a very, very interesting jailbreak tweak, a very, very interesting take on reachability as a whole. And I really like this tweak. You're going to love this. It is called My Reachability. And basically, it is a tweak to use the accelerometer accelerometer in uh, in concert with reachability to allow you to access various uh, parts of an app very easily and I'm going to show you how this works I'm just going to enable my reachability it is from Korean developer shine he did a really excellent job with this tweak I'm really excited about this now watch what happens I'm going to launch tweetbot watch what happens here double tap and notice you have the the app in the bottom right hand corner or bottom left hand corner of the screen. You just get this little par portion of it, but that makes it so much easier to access specific uh, portions of the app that you need to access. So for instance, if I wanted to compose a new tweet, wow, how easy is that, that it's just right there, uh, as opposed to reachability, uh, the normal reachability, which doesn't do as good of a job as uh, placing that element right at your fingertips, literally. Um, but that's not where it stops. Let me show you this. Watch what happens when I use the accelerometer. See, I can actually move the app over to the right-hand side of the screen just by holding over, using the accelerometer, just tilting my iPhone over like that, and the interface will actually move over so that I can access the interface portion in the upper left-hand corner of the app like that. Um, and I can move it back, of course. I can actually move it up just by holding my device up. It's kind of hard to show on video, uh, but... You can see I can move it up, access these elements here. If I want to, those can be right at my fingertips. I can move it over like that. Awesome, awesome, awesome implementation of reachability, folks. And now let me show you one other really cool thing about my reachability. Watch this. I'm going to invoke my reachability here. Notice that little lock here. What that lock does is allows you to lock uh, the interface, keep it from moving. Uh, so I'm going to lock it here. And now when I hold over, it will not actually move. Let's try it again because it timed out on me. So it's locked. Now when I hold over, it won't actually move, but I can switch over using this little switcher button right here. Uh, so I can quickly switch over and I can also unlock and then still use uh, my reachability in the accelerometer like that. And I can lock it if I want to and switch over at the top just like that. Uh, so folks, that is my reachability, extremely compelling jailbreak tweak uh, from a Korean developer named Shine. Highly recommend you check this out. If you're using a larger screen device, this is a tweak that you definitely don't want to miss. And it's absolutely free, which is absurd to me. But it is free, which is awesome. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I would definitely pay 99 cents for this. And I think it's only going to improve as far as the accelerometer detection, etc. So in my opinion, this truly does improve reachability. It is my reachability, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? Will you be using this on your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.